Welcome to Tuesday, September 14th, 2021. Classic September weather through Sunday. It is going to be just gorgeous. Some areas will have some fog, some scattered showers and clouds early today. But as today progresses, it clears out and high pressure is going to build in. And this is going to give us just fantastic September weather through the weekend. For folks that have lived out in the West for a long time, you know this time of year. You get humidity's low, so you get these days that are warm, but not too hot. You get these nights that are clear, cool, and crisp, so you can open the windows at night and enjoy some really nice weather this time of year, and it will last through the weekend. We're still expecting those changes to colder conditions around or just after September 20th. We still have timing differences. Basically, folks, we may see the changes hit the Intermountain West and the High Plains as early as Sunday night or as late as Monday night and Tuesday, but the changes are coming. Our confidence continues to grow. Temperatures are going to be 20 to 25 degrees colder or more in some areas, especially by the middle of next week. So enjoy and take advantage of the next five to six days. Today's satellite imagery shows that we have a swirl of clouds up here. See this right here? That's what's going to be playing a big role in our weather. That system up in the Gulf of Alaska now going to take a while, but it will be bringing about our change. Here's the latest weather system moving out of the region. And then here's Nicholas going in and dissipating along the Gulf Coast. This red and orange area showing dry air and high pressure that's going to basically just settle in and dominate for the next four to five days before those changes coming. Now, you probably have noticed the smoke has gotten a lot, a lot better. And the smoke map from this morning certainly showing that. Yes, we're still producing smoke out of California, parts of Southern Oregon and the Pacific Northwest, but you can see the smoke plumes greatly reduced. Certainly the weather pattern change that hit those areas late last week has helped, but they're still gonna be producing smoke, but the smoke situation is a whole bunch better than it has been. Now, taking a look at as the weather pattern as it evolves, today's jet stream pattern looks like this, a west to east generally flow coming on through, a couple of dips here and there, there will be other frontal systems coming on through in this pattern, but it's not going to be the type of pattern that will produce any real significant weather here for a while. And here's the remains of Nicholas. It'll get drawn up towards the jet stream here in the next day or two. Now, as we go from today into Sunday, here's that swirl I showed you up in the Alaska region. Notice what happens by Sunday. It starts to come down into Washington State along the coast of British Columbia, and we have a high pressure building up in the eastern Pacific. Remember, when there's a ridge here, we go to the fridge. And so with the jet stream wanting to take a dip, this is by Sunday morning. As early as Sunday morning, rain will hit the Pacific Northwest coast here and along the coast of British Columbia and into western areas of Canada. But a southwest wind ahead of the low means it's going to be pretty warm ahead of the change. This happens frequently, especially this time of year. You get a larger change in the weather coming, and what you get is you get an extreme followed by another extreme, which means we're going to have a big warm up ahead of the system, a big cool down behind it. And this is by Monday night into Tuesday. High pressure building along the West Coast digs that trough of low pressure deep into the Western United States. This opens the door to Canada, so let's follow the winds here. The winds are coming right out of the Northwest Territories into the Northern and Central Rockies. So that colder weather is going to be rolling on in. Now this frontal system and its timing is subject to change, but it will arrive. Our confidence is pretty high that this will happen. These are temperatures relative to average by noon next Wednesday. So by next Wednesday, you can see the large swath of blue and green and purple in the central, northern, and western areas of the United States. What this is showing with this purple along the front range of southern Wyoming and Colorado here is a deep, cold, moist upslope wind with that cold air pouring on in. So this is going to be, you know, about a week from today, a far cry from where we are right now. Now this is probably overdoing it. Again, this is a computer model I'm showing you. Models are not reality, especially when it comes to weather and climate. Modeling is just a tool. But what you want to use the modeling for is what the trend is. 
Now this is the European model, which is forecasting a low of 15 degrees in Laramie by next Thursday morning. Now, could it be that cold? Yes. Is the model maybe overdoing the extent of the cold? Probably. But even if you took and added 10 degrees to these temperatures, these are the forecasted low temperatures by next Thursday morning. So again, what we wanna do here is really focus on the trend, not the specifics. So the trend is gonna be for this change. This is what the 10 day precipitation forecast looks like. Look at all of that heavy rain into Washington and Oregon. Boy, this, this would be really, really good news here. Now we're hoping that maybe further south, there'll be a bigger penetration into the central and northern Sierras, which would help out the wildfire situation. Let's hope that does happen. This would be some good moisture up here in Montana, across the Dakotas and the Northern Plains as well. This is the heavy rain from the remains of Nicholas. If we were to convert that to, yep, the white stuff, this is pretty impressive. This is showing that the Northern and Central Rockies will have their first really decent snow chance of the fall season by the middle of next week with this pattern. You can see all the way from the Canadian Rockies, all the way into Rocky Mountain National Park, even down here into Sangre de Cristos, even Pikes Peak might get dusted. Again, it's a model, but what we're showing you what the trend is. Now let's take a bigger perspective. Let's take a hemispheric perspective on this weather pattern change because it's not only in North America. Take a look, this is the 10 day snow forecast for the Northern Hemisphere. Look at how far south the snow gets on the other side of the globe. And then we have this, basically this north-south axis of cold and winter weather that'll be developing across many areas of the Northern Hemisphere, evolving over the next 10 days. So what this means is, is that we're just getting out of summer and we're heading into the fall season. But this, this is an impressive Northern Hemispheric change taking place. That time of year, folks, the aspen leaves are turning into the high country. So let's have some fun with it. If you would like to report the fall colors in your area, I know a lot of folks would be interested because with the weekends coming on up, especially this weekend looking nice, I know a lot of folks this time of year want to get in the car over the weekends and drive into the mountains and check out the fall colors. They're already changing. I've already heard from some of you. Send us your fall color report. Give us your location and what those aspen colors are like and other color changes that are going on. And we'll update the report through the rest of the week and into early next week so folks can take advantage of seeing the fall colors before they're gone. Have yourself a great Tuesday. We'll see you tomorrow.